Why do some of the tallest buildings in Hong Kong have giant holes in them? What if we told you that they were there on purpose? No, these holes aren't the result of errant asteroids that hurtled towards the Earth or some mathematical error on the part of the architects at the construction company. These sort of Swiss cheese skyscrapers were uniquely designed this way. And with that design comes some equally unique challenges. Today, we're looking at the cultural influence of these magnificent structures, and of course, the cost. Stick around, and you may just learn a whole lot of new information about Hong Kong's skyscrapers. To answer the question behind these holy buildings, we must first get to the bottom of an ancient Chinese tradition called Feng Shui. The words Feng and Shui translate to wind and water and the concept first was introduced in the 9th century, as early as 960 BC. It was derived from a poem that pontificated on human life being deeply connected and flowing from the environment. It is a tradition rooted in spirituality and extends to all manner of living spaces, from how you position your bed and dresser around your apartment to how entire buildings and even skyscrapers are laid out. The goal is simple. If your surroundings are in harmony with nature, then you will keep spiritual forces calm and happy, and in turn, they will bring you good luck. Now, we aren't going to say whether this is true or not. After all, we all harbor our own superstitions no matter how silly they may seem. I mean, we still won't touch an Ouija board after seeing The Exorcist, even though, well, we know deep down that it's only a movie, and the board is only cardboard and plastic. But we will say that in Chinese tradition, spiritual energy is taken quite seriously. So seriously, in fact, that it influences the designs of the city's massive buildings. Which brings us to the holes in skyscrapers. The holes are a result of the architects following feng shui principles, and they allow for spiritual energy to flow freely through the buildings. They are commonly known as dragon gates, and they allow for clear passage for dragon spirits traveling from the mountains down to the water. And dragons bring good fortune and represent wisdom, courage, and of course, prosperity. If you are a business owner, you really want these mythical creatures on your side, because if you don't, it could spell disaster for you and your company. In fact, it is believed in Hong Kong that the Bank of China Tower's poor feng shui directly led to nearby companies to go out of business. Now, corporations will set aside quite a bit of money to have feng shui consultations, and architects will design their buildings abiding to these principles. Some of the more famous buildings that contain Dragon Gates are the Repulse Bay Apartments and the Bel Air Residence in the Cyberport region. But they can also be seen all over. The Larvodo is another residence building in the small island of Apli Chow, and it's famous for its distinctive hollowed-out sky gardens. Now, you may be wondering just what does it cost to build one of these fancy skyscrapers? And are these holes really only there for mythical ancient traditions? Certainly not everyone believes in spirits, so was there any challenge in getting these designs approved? Well, to answer that, we can look to the first building on our list, the Repulse Bay, which was built in 1986 over the Repulse Bay Hotel, a building which had been around since 1920 and was demolished in 1982. And this hotel was famous too, housing some of the biggest stars in Hollywood during its tenure, including Marlon Brando. But the newly fashioned, and not to mention completely see-through, luxury building, similarly named the Repulse Bay, cost $38 million, which today equates to over $90 million when adjusted for inflation. And yes, the design was met with shock and even a bit of disdain, mainly due to this new fancy building being erected right where a historic building used to stand. But putting a hole in the building was novel, new, weird, and the architects knew it. Martin Sawyer, who is a group director of properties, believes that this building was the first of its kind to sport the fancy hull design in Hong Kong. But here's the part that will really leave you scratching your head. The designers of this first building did not originally intend this hull as a spirit gate or have it abide to any feng shui principles. They did it to make a statement, to have their building stand out and to have it capture the imagination of all those who looked at it. And they absolutely succeeded. The spirit dragon lore emerged from the locals, and some theorized that it helped the community make peace with this massive new building taking up the landscape. 
Ann Sang, a creative director and a local resident for years, has gone on record talking about the Repulse Bay, saying, it was like, we've lost a colonial building. But look at this, it's super contemporary, and by the way, it's got this kind of mysterious mythical aspect to it. Martin Sawyer has also commented on how the locals took to this distinctively fresh looking building by saying, we have heard that the locals believe that a family of dragons lives in the surrounding hills, and the mother dragon takes her children down to the sea to bathe each morning in the cool blue waters. In order not to block the family of dragons and bring bad luck to the site, the superstition is that the hull was designed so that they could pass through. Here's where the spiritual met the functional when it came to putting a giant hull in the side of a building. More and more giant buildings started to pop up, and locals started to complain that they blocked the beautiful scenery of their beloved city, and also the ventilation. In 2005, the government published the Feasibility Study for Establishment of Air Ventilation Assessment System, which essentially set up a slew of guidelines for air ventilation with regards to government projects, mainly mandating that buildings could not be placed so close together. But as for privately funded buildings, well, they found a compromise they could still build their buildings close together as long as they left room for a ventilation hole. This kept the government happy with their mandate, and it kept the locals happy because they still had a view of their mountains. Oh, and it also kept the spiritual enthusiasts happy because dragons could safely traverse through their city. And today, buildings are still designed with all this in mind. The central government complex in Admiralty, built in 2011, has a big old hole right in the center of it but this time with the symbolic meaning of connectivity and sharing. It's a metaphor for an open door, and it has become a staple of Hong Kong's landmarks. Looks like putting a giant hole in your building may not be such a bad idea. These skyscrapers draw in huge amounts of tourism every year, and if your residential building has one, it'll be seen as luxurious and a modern place to live, and you wouldn't be wrong. Take one apartment that can be found in the Lovardo. It's in a prime waterfront location, complete with views of the sea and top-notch clubhouse facilities. It's a two-bedroom layout, comes with a balcony, and light wood-colored flooring. All fixtures and appliances are high-end, and it has access to both indoor and outdoor pools, a spa, gym, all this for just over $42 million. But don't forget, the spirits in your area will be happy too, and that means you'll be getting all the good luck you could ever need. Well, that is, if you believe in that sort of thing. Look, here's the truth. Whether you believe in feng shui or not, these are some incredibly beautiful pieces of architecture, and they certainly have captured the attention of not only the locals, but tourists from around the world. They are unique, inspired, gorgeous, and not to mention, expensive. Hey, next time you're in Hong Kong, stop on by. And if you're looking to buy, better make sure that you are one of the richest.